Hi friends, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Here you can see the OPAM integrator. This contains uh, an operational amplifier, a capacitor and a resistor. Okay. See here that this is an inverting operational amplifier because when the signal is applied, the input voltage is applied at the negative terminal of this operational amplifier. So this is inverting amplifier. Okay. In inverting amplifier, the output voltage is negative to the input. Okay, you can see the circuit how we have applied the resistor and uh, the capacitor in feedback. Okay, now what is an integrator? An integrator is nothing but simply a circuit in which the output voltage waveform is the time integral of the input voltage waveform. Okay, you can see the simulation here how we have used the various components and operational amplifier in uh, inverting mode okay and the waveform is also given in the bottom you see that we have applied a square wave okay of 80 hertz as the input okay and in the output we are getting a triangular wave so let me tell you why we are getting a triangular wave from the square input as we know that uh, a square wave is nothing but a combination of positive and negative step signals okay and the integration of a step signal is nothing but the ramp signal so if this is a square wave okay continuous square wave so i will get the ramp signals in the output and since it is a uh, inverting operational amplifier so for the positive part of the square wave that is for the positive unit step i will get the negative ramp and for negative step signal i will get positive ramp signal because integration of a, a step signal is the ramp signal and in this uh, this collection or this combination of ramp signals makes a triangular wave so if we apply a a square uh, waveform at as the input voltage to the integrator then i will get the triangular waveform in the output these integrators are used in various uh, wave shaping circuits and in analog to digital converters and in uh, analog computers keep this in mind that this is an ideal integrator okay so here if i denote the input voltage by v in and the output voltage by v naught then the relationship between the input and output voltage is given by this formula this uh, is output voltage v naught okay at this place this v naught is equals to minus of 1 divided by r c integral integral from 0 to t v input dt it is also obvious because it is an integrator so it is uh, it will definitely integrate the input voltage so we have integrated this input voltage and uh, the magnitude of v output will be equal to 1 minus of 1 by rc this is r okay and this is the capacitance value uh, capacitor in uh, feedback okay so 1 by rc put these values and integrate it from 0 to t integrate this v input with respect to time therefore it is an integrator if i integrate the the square waveform then in the output i will get the triangular waveform so this was all about this uh, integrator i hope you enjoyed it in the next video we will discuss the differentiator using operational amplifier so keep watching engineering made easy for more such animated and simulation videos please do not forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy bye bye